this episode, I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful paper ornaments. For this project, the materials that you need are paper in two colors, wire, tape, and four beads, two smaller and two larger beads. You also need some cardstock. You also need some tools. You will need three uh, paper punchers, uh, one uh, circular one inch, one a half an inch, a very small teeny tiny uh, paper punch. You need pliers, you need um, wire cutters, and you need an exacto knife and a ruler. To start making the ball or the ornament, you need 16 strips of paper. I have them already cut. They are half an inch by four and a quarter. That is very important that you stay with, with these measurements so that you could have something as solid as this. And again, the measurements are half an inch by uh, uh, four and a quarter inch. You need eight strips in one color and eight strips in the other color. You also need four circles of one inch and two circles of half an inch. Once you cut, the easiest way to cut the, the paper, it's using the ruler and the exacto knife or using one of those mechanical paper cutters. Once you have all your paper uh, strips cut, with a very tiny paper puncher, you're going to make a little hole about an eighth of an inch from the uh, side of the paper, in both sides. So you're going to do that with the 16 pieces of paper. One important detail, when you are making the perforations, make sure that all of the paper strips have the perf perforations basically at the same place the way you see here. That will um, assure you that when you put the ball together, it will be even. If this distance varies from strip of paper to strip of paper, your ball will not be even. Once you have all the pieces cut, you need uh, some wire. We get some wire, you need about five inches of wire. Make sure that I have enough. Yeah. You're going to start by making a little loop at one of the ends of the wire. So you have something like that. Now you're going to take one of the small beads and you're going to put it through the wire. Then you're going to take one of the small circles, paper circles, the half an inch paper circle, put it through the wire, and then one of the larger beads. And now, one of the larger circles. Once you have your beads and the two circles in your wire, you're ready to start putting the paper through the wire and you alternate colors. You take a black strip and a white strip and you're going to alternate black and, and then white. And you're going to go through all the strips, put them then in order, putting them in order. Once you have all your 16 strips of paper in the wire, make sure this is the time to check that you didn't make any mistakes, that you have it all alternated. You will also need a strip of paper that it is two by six. I usually select paper that match one of the colors from my ornament. Using this strip of paper, you're going to make a little tube. Little tube.
something like that, that it will be about a little more than a quarter of an inch wide. And with the tape, you're just going to tape it. Before we, we put the tube, we have to add a, another circle. Okay, so we have circle, strips, and another circle. Now we are ready for our little paper tube. And now we want to put another circle, another larger circle on top. Okay, so we get something like this. And this is maybe the trickiest part. I bend the wire a little, just a little curve. And I'm going to start with the first strip I put in the wire. I'm going to take that strip and I'm going to pass it through the wire one more time. And I'm going to hold. Then I'm going to go to the second one that I put. So you're going to follow that order with the third, fourth, and so on and so forth. And voila. Isn't it beautiful? Preciosa, verdad? Really nice. Very easy. So now we are ready basically to finish our ornament. We are going to put the other or the last larger circle. We are going to take our large Beat the smaller circle the smaller bead and then I am going to trim the leftover wire I want um, about half an inch above the uh, last bead. And then I'm going to make a loop so that it keeps everything tight. And here it is, your complete paper ball. The beauty of this ornament is that uh, you could play with different colors and different textures on the paper, and you could produce different kinds of um, ornaments. Um, for example, here I am playing with solid paper with pattern paper, and I'm using brighter colors, and it produces a brighter um, ornament. I like the black and white uh, combination. Um, this ornament, for example, I'm using a paper that it's covered with um, ribbon, so, or it's a ribbon bag with paper. Um, and I just cut it like paper, and it produced this satin-looking um, ornament. Um, and here are other uh, pattern papers, black and red, and white over white, and this beautiful metallic blue, really, really nice, nice colors. So anyway, I invite you to experiment with your favorite colors and produce beautiful, beautiful ornaments for the holidays. I am Carlos Nelson Molina. Thanks for watching.